Hello everybody, this is City Scrapper. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am back with day 14 of Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. I'm playing along with a lot of other scrapbookers, so I hope you'll check out all of their videos in the description box. For this particular layout, I am following the sketch in that I am making a large triangle of mixed media. This is going to be an ocean photo, so I am using a lot of blues and greens. And I am using some bubble wrap to uh, do the packaging technique. I have been saving bubble wrap for a long time. I just recently did a layout using bubble wrap. I had never actually used it before, and I really like it. I like the texture that it gives, so I decided to try it again on this layout. I'm using many different colors of sprays. I'm using some Heidi Swap uh, Color Shine in the color Ocean. I'm also using some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mists in Dragonfly Wings and Limelight. And right now I'm using some Art Anthology sprays. This particular one is Indigo. I use Ink Spot and I also use Granny Smith. So a little bit of a lot of different shades of blues and greens. And my goal was just to kind of create a splash effect or a water effect um, using the mixed media. Now I'm adding in some of the green. And I seem to have a lot of trouble with the sprays, the sprayers on a lot of my bottles. So at times I have to just take off the top and pour a little bit onto the bubble wrap. For this layout, I'm using a photo of my husband and also my two daughters. My two daughters are further out in the picture, but I just loved the way the sky looked in this picture. It's such a deep blue, and you'll see that in a few moments, the picture that I'm gonna be using. And there was just a little sprinkling of clouds and it just looked like the most beautiful day. And I thought that this would be um, a perfect picture to use in conjunction with this background. Now I'm going in, I've, I've added a lot of sprays, a lot of color. I'm going in with some white splatters and I always add white splatters, but when I have mixed media and sometimes when I don't have any other mixed media, but I liked the way the white splatters add to the water effect. I'm now using some Vicky Booten, I think it's called a glitter glaze or um, glitter paste and it's just a clear, medium and there's a lot of big chunks of glitter mixed in and it has almost like a pinkish hue to it which I think is a nice combination with the green and the blue and I'm just putting it through the circle stencil but it really just doesn't end up taking much of a shape it really just looks like some glitter mixed in which I think ends up looking fine then I realized I forgot to do this step where I sprinkle some water on top. I'm sure you've seen scrapbookers do this before and then lift off some of the background color. And this is another technique that I think I use all the time, but it's particularly good for uh, this particular layout because it looks like little water droplets. And then I go back in with some texture paste and I always add some white paint to the texture paste because otherwise it kind of has a grayish kind of look. And I mix those two things together and I'm just putting a little bit of texture paste on the background. Well, a little bit for me. Um, I'm not covering the whole area of color with texture paste, just putting it in several areas. And I get a lot of use out of these Tim Holtz stencils. I have like four of them that I use constantly. I'm going back in with some gesso and I'm just trying to cover up a few of the areas. I'm not like looking to totally cover them up because mixed media is gonna be messy, but I just wanted to clean up the background a little bit, fade some of the splatters and the stray um, color away. And I wanna just dab on the gesso. I don't want to reactivate the color underneath it and then drag it along the background. So I feel the best thing is to just dab it on a little bit. Now I'm adding some splatters. I just want a few, well, I don't know if I just want a few. I do wanna put, I usually put a lot of everything. I am putting some splatters along the edge of the area where there's color and that 
transitions the area of color into the background. And I especially, again, really liked that because it looks a little bit like splash. So I guess a lot of these techniques that I'm using uh, are just naturally suited to creating uh, a background that looks like water. I had these stickers and chipboard pieces in my stash for uh, forever. They're a brand called Creative Imaginations. I remember I bought this at a scrapbook expo or a scrapbooking convention a long time ago, and they were in with the dollar booths that they used to have. So I bought a lot of these, uh, not too much, but a lot of this particular collection. And I still think it's beautiful, and I still pull it out every now and then. And pretty much everything is from that collection. All the stickers, the chipboard that says C. In a little bit, I'm going to add a phrase at the top that says by the beautiful C. I tend to have really, really simple titles. So I was happy to see that there was a way to expand on a title that's as simple as C. So I thought that I would cut that out and use that. And you'll see that in a moment. And right now I'm just trialing out a bunch of different stickers that are in the collection. And I try using some others. You know, I pulled out some other embellishments. You could see on the left there, there's a bunch of fish and sea creatures, but I don't believe I end up using any of those. So now I'm popping up my photo on some foam. And attaching it down and then I do the same thing with the title C and because I popped up the photo and the titles resting on the photo I'm putting some foam at the bottom of the title and then I'm attaching everything down initially I'm using ATG adhesive to attach the stickers and normally that's enough the it's a very strong adhesive if you haven't used it um, it's a great adhesive I love it but for all of this mixed media that's in the background, I might need to add some liquid glue as well. But initially, I'm using the ATG adhesive, and it's generally repositionable. So that helps me because I do like to move things around a lot. Now I'm also popping up this little sentiment. It says, the perfect escape. And that's going to be on the left of the photo. And I love that little octopus that I'm working with right now. At first I thought maybe I would add him on top of this card as like a little anchor for him and so he would be a little more visible. Um, in the end I end up just having him kind of floating there and he is not super visible but it, he adds a little bit of dimension to the page and just you know a, a little bit of something. I think he's super cute. I still had some brads left from this collection so I pulled out three brads and these brads are square which I think is kind of cool and different. Adding that seashell you could see that I added some photo corners just two of them and I'm attaching those down with ATG adhesive and that's perfect to attach paper to paper. And this is the part where I add in the first part of the title by the beautiful and I'm mounting that on some orange. It's actually pattern paper, but it looks like cardstock. And I have additional sheets of that paper and another paper behind the layout. You could see that right there. I have purchased over the years a number of pattern paper packs from Tuesday morning and mainly because they're solids or they are close to being solids. And I find orange and dark blue really, really helpful. So whenever I saw those, I picked those up. I don't really have a Tuesday morning that I shop in. I, there's one that's not too far from my house, but they rarely have anything. So I'm glad I took advantage over the years of the papers that were available. So I am using some of the like lighter orange on the background, you know, on the, on the far background for a small border then the darker orange, and I've cut my paper down a little bit. And I was kind of thinking the next day that maybe it would be nice to have some blue in the background, but I decided to just stick with the orange. And you can see I do put a lot of ATG adhesive on the 
back of the mixed media paper, it is very um, wavy. I know there's different ways that you can flatten it, but I lack patience and I usually just uh, attach the mixed media paper that while it's wavy down to the other paper and that helps to flatten it out. You can see I'm just punching holes with my scissors and attaching those brads down. I'm putting some pearls in the corners of the photo on top of the photo corners. And now I'm adding some little, uh, they're stickers, but they're like a blue transparent dot. And those are from Queen and Company. And I don't go crazy with those. I just add them in a couple of spots just to add a little bit of highlight to the design. And oh, I did end up using that sticker sheet. I forgot there are some little bubbles on that sticker sheet, and I use those. So, in addition to using the turquoise blue ones, I added some of these clear ones, and they add a little bit of something to the background, but they're not super visible. They're just like a little touch more texture than anything else. And I realized I forgot to attach down that last brand. So here I am struggling with the page, trying to get a hole where I need it in the page. And now I decided to add this anchor that I found in my summer stash. It was in a little bag of ephemera that I had, and then I just pulled a piece of twine that was also in my summer stash, and I put it through the loop, and then I attached the ends behind that part of the title. And that completes the layout, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope that if you like this video, you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a current subscriber, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. I hope that everybody has a fantastic day. And if you have some time, I hope you'll check out all of the other scrapbookers that are following along with this challenge. There are scrapbookers on YouTube and scrapbookers on Instagram who have created amazing layouts. And I will be back again tomorrow for day 15. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.